Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I've just um, put my Ranger in for a service and I thought, oh, well, I'll see what I can do with getting a loan car. So what was offered to me was just another ute and I said, well, the wife might be looking at a, uh, a small SUV. So what they've done is they've uh, given me this uh, to test drive. So this is the current model uh, replacement to the Everest, which is the Endura. So I'll give you a quick walk around the back, have a look. So the Endura trend is the baseline. Then it moves its way up through two, which is, I think it's the ST version and then the titanium. So with this model, if you can see it, there's no seats in the back. There's only those back seats there. Now with the, uh, with the back, you've got seat buttons there to release the, the seat. Just push that and the seat should fall forward. So you don't have to touch them. The only problem is you have to manually kick them back up. So a lot of, pretty much a lot of boot space anyway. On the, uh, I believe the titanium model, if you've taken groceries out or whatever, you just swipe your foot underneath the back here and it shuts. But the Endura, the bottom line, doesn't do that. So pretty much just a, a hand shut on that model. So just go through the, the engine, then we'll walk, work our way back through uh, the rest of it. So it's a little four cylinder diesel. It's not a, uh, not a bad size motor. There's a lot of pack of punch in this thing as well. So um, taking it for a drive out in the highway, it does pretty good actually. So with, with this one, just got your standard sort of headlights with the, uh, the titanium there's another set of headlight up here which is a uh, multi-control LED high beam type light and then what happens is as you're driving down the highway you hit the high beam and you know when you get the reflection off your the large uh, destination signs and stuff like that well they will actually shut down and actually close off that reflection off that uh, high beam so pretty good little looking car drives very well when you uh, you got your keyless entry as well when you lock it your mirrors fold back in so you go through and have a look at the front here I might just jump through the back and do it from the back it might be a bit easier for me I'll just throw these up so in the standard there's uh, just cloth trim uh, when you move your way up, I think the edges of the seats are leather, cloth in the middle. But when you go to the titanium, the whole lot's leather. Up the back here, same as the Ranger, you've got your little cigarette and your inverter um, for the aircon as well. Up the front, I'll just go through here. So one of the cool features is your, your dial setting. So it's an automatic um, handbrake. So when you want to drive, you just twist it around to D and uh, obviously just goes from there. But when you pull up, instead of putting it back to park, all you've got to do is touch the start stop button and this swings right around to park by itself. So in the titanium, I believe the parking assist one uh, button when you push that you don't touch the accelerator you don't touch anything it parallel parks you for by itself so you don't have to touch it same sync 3 type system is what's in the Ranger um, exactly the same air corn all that sort of stuff um, and then what I'll do got to jump at the front give us a sec yeah so it's all power windows as well Start her up. Oh, bloody door alarm. And I'll shut that up. That shut up. So this is your dash. Um, pretty much 
slight tweak on what the Ranger is. You've still got your dual paddles, both sides. A slight variation from the Ranger. Pretty much these are all on the opposite side in a way. Um, so with your function on your right hand side, that'll go through your uh, centerpiece, I believe, yep. So you can go through, do your, your navigation or your phone or speed or whatever. Um, on the left hand side, you can go through, where is it? Look at that. So you can go through um, all your settings. So this is this being a diesel comes with AdBlue. Now with the AdBlue, it lasts about 9,000 kilometers on a full tank. So 9,000 9, Ks, I believe uh, might be like a 13 litre thing of AdBlue. Uh, so that's uh, what $13 to fill that. And then you've got 9,000 Ks out of that. So pretty, pretty good distance on that. And it also tells you you don't really need to top it up. So it gives you your warnings. Um, as I was saying, same stereo, exactly the same sort of navigation, everything like that. And navigation was to pick up. And then from there, I reckon pretty much sure that you can do your normal apps that you do anyway with your, uh, with your current uh, Ranger as well. So as I was saying with this one, just put my foot on the brake, put it across the drive, just in a dial, and then watch what happens to this when I turn off the engine. Automatically goes to park, shuts down the vehicle and puts on the handbrake. So I thought that was um, pretty good. You don't really need to fuss about um, with a handbrake and stuff like that. I'd say uh, it'll be something that will be trialed and tested later on and see if there's any issues with the gearbox um, but yeah we'll see how we go with that later on another thing with the um, with the titanium is up the front here you've got your windows uh, sorry your, your door lock but in here there'll be another setting three settings there for seat adjustment so you can program where your seat is going to be um, just jump out so yeah, you could program what what seat per driver. So you could have you as number one, your wife as number two, and then all you do is push two for your wife and the seat will move. So as the baseline model, all the seats are electric. So not a problem at all with that. And then you got your lumbar support as well. Um, so I believe with that, um, the titanium being an all leather seat, they've also got a heating and cooling in your seats as well so that's a bonus um, that's probably all I've got at the moment as I said it drives like a car it's got the punch of a car but it's a four-cylinder diesel um, they only come in diesel for all three models um, and that's probably about it they don't come out in unleaded so yeah Canadian built car it's not uh, Mexican or or anything like that it's built in Canada and uh, yeah, I actually look like I might be buying one of these for the wife, but I'll buy the titanium. So what I might do is I'll throw a, um, a post up when that all happens and uh, go from there. Have a great day.